This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone. Today we'll try to understand whenever we post any logistics invoice or a purchase order based invoice using MIRO transaction code or MIRO transaction. We are all aware basically system is going to generate one document number called as MM invoice number or logistics invoice number. For this document number, there is a follow on document number called as accounting document number. Usually what will happen in any business process, whenever user is recording purchase order based invoicing, they only get to know the logistics invoice number to get the subsequent or the follow on accounting document number. They need to post the entry and then display the logistics invoice verification. Click on follow on document to get the accounting document number. We will try to see whenever we post any purchase order document number in Miro as an invoice, how do we get logistics invoice number at the same time accounting document number parallelly at the same time. Let us look this scenario in SAP now. Let me go to SAP currently in my system. This option is disabled meaning when I post purchase order based invoice in Miro, I am expecting only logistics invoice number to be displayed. Let us proceed with it to do so. Let us go to MIRO. Enter. I will put date and here I am going to go by provide purchase order number. Copy this purchase order number same date here. Amount leave it. Keep calculated tax enabled input the business place and put purchase order number here hit enter on the screen you will get value here 78750 let me copy this amount put this here press enter enter there are no documents document is good to go let me try to post I have posted this document number down below. If you see, I got only one document number starting from 51. Basically, this is called as purchase order or purchasing document number. In short, logistics invoice document number. For this, there will be a subsequent accounting document number, which we need to figure out. Usually, what we will do, we will display the invoice document from here. I think I need to copy the document. What I'll do, I'll open the purchase order and then I'll pick the document number. I'll go to ME23N. Keep this purchase order number. Ending with 61 is what we posted. Keep this ending with 61. And if I go back to purchase order history, this was the invoice document number. Display this invoice document number. While displaying this invoice document number on top, you have follow on document. When you click on this follow on document, you will get to know this document number called as accounting document number. This is the accounting document number 510 ending with 10. If I go back, this is my logistics invoice verification document number. In short, this is MM document number. The following document was FI document number. If while posting the entry, I want to know accounting document number at the same time, MM document number parallelly at the same time, which will give more time saving activity for any user because once invoice document is posted on the purchase order, or on the invoice document number ideally users will be writing this document numbers if these are given to them while posting the document itself it will save a lot of their time and users will also be feeling much more happy satisfied with the performance of the system to do it what we need to do this is a user parameter setting in SAP so what we will do you have to go to SU3 to change it for your user ID for the testing purpose initially Go to SU3, 
from your user id go to parameter add a new user parameter here this user parameter will be this iv fi display invoice verification financial accounting display enter and you just need to activate it put parameter value as x save this record okay record will be saved user id is updated to revise what we have done go to su3 once again parameter this is what we need to enable iv fi display and this parameter is supposed to be enabled for all the users whoever is posting logistics invoice verification in short whoever is posting vendor invoices in your procurement department payable department logistics department for those user id get this parameter id updated from basis consultant collect the list of user ids from your business user get all the user ids of sap and then give the, include this parameter and then parameter value give it to the basis consultant with in in one go basis consultant will update this for all the user id whatever you provide next thing i'll post one more invoice same thing after activating it we are expecting accounting document also to be included now now i'll put next purchase order number 62 same details i'll keep this tax enabled enter business place and i'll put purchase order number 62 proceed further same amount here also i just copied the purchase order to show the scenario press enter continue all right let me save this entry before we save our target is to get logistics document number at the same time accounting document number at the same time while giving the message at the bottom let me click on post if i click on post now you can see the message it is giving invoice document number at the same time accounting document number in bracket journal entry this is going to help your business users more in their day-to-day -day business operations whenever they post this purchase order based logistics invoice entry in miro transaction code as i said to activate it only one point you need to do collect all the user ids to whom this is to be enabled make a list in the excel sheet and in that you include this parameter value as x and parameter id is iv fi display send it to the basis consultant they will add this to all the users in the production system in one go all right thank you so much i hope this helps